morning and welcome to Radio Friends. It's Friday, November the 16th. Where has half of the month gone already? Next week is uh, Thanksgiving. Yeah. Anyway, we've got uh, two guests today. I start off, first of all, with Randy Fletcher. Good to have you on Radio Friends, Randy. And you're here today representing the Alternative to Violence Project. What is that? The Alternative to Violence Project is, is a... Uh, uh, a project of group uh, <laughs> groups of people who get together right we do group workshops in right. the prisons and you yes. just got back from the prison in Leavenworth Kansas that's right you spent how many days there we spend three days for each workshop and uh, we go in there and we spend the whole day with the inmates mm -hmm. uh, we don't sleep there or anything like right that, I understand <laughs> But uh, we spend the whole time as facilitators, facilitating an experiential workshop where we do exercises together around nonviolent uh, uh, communication and alternatives to violence and conflict resolution, um, and just explore those things through experiential types of exercises uh, that culminate in doing role plays. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then we debrief and we talk about it and, you know, and everybody kind of teaches each other in these workshops. So you spend three days there with the same, with the same inmates the whole time? Yeah, the same group. It's very important that a sense of community is built uh, during the workshop because that's what, that's where the magic is, it seems, in, in the Alternatives to Violence project. It's in this this sense of community that gets built up. We play some games together and laugh, uh, you know, mm -hmm. during that, that time. I mean, most of the, what, the work we do is pretty serious, but we always, you know, in each session, try to have a game or something that gets us laughing. And there's nothing like laughing with each other and having fun that builds a sense of community. Can you tell a difference in the inmates from the, when you first meet them the first day to when you leave at the end of the third day? Oh, yeah. It's, it's amazing, really. I mean, you, you come in... And generally, the inmates are, are relatively sullen and not expecting very much. They look at who's come in to facilitate the workshop, and they think, <laughs> these people, you know, this is just going to be a real drag or whatever. But by the time uh, we're finished, I mean, everybody is able to, you know, hold hands with each other for certain exercises and, and smile and joke around with each other and have a good time. I mean, when we first go in there, they don't even look each other in the eyes let mm -hmm. alone us, you know, to, uh, uh, because cause everybody's afraid, it seems. Mm -hmm. uh, how did, how do, you do you choose the inmate, or do they sign up for it on their own? They, they sign up for it, um, and there, there's usually, in many prisons, there's a long waiting list of mm -hmm. people who have signed up. And sometimes the prisons will impose certain, certain uh, criteria for you to be able to sign up, for instance, you have to uh, uh, have completed your GED, for instance, or something mm -hmm. like this. So there's a little bit of a weeding out process, I mm -hmm. suppose, in that regard. But uh, uh, but yeah, people people sign Do up. Do you find that when you leave the prison, that you feel gratified with what you have done over those three days? Oh yes. I mean, when you see the difference that you've made for those, uh, those, those men, it, it's just, um, it's, it's very uh, heartfelt, uplifting, yeah, uplifting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, just really feel like we've done something that's really worthwhile and beneficial, not only to them, but all of society. Right. If people want more information on this, uh, when they want to be part of a group, is there a phone number they can call or a website to go to? Uh, if they're local here and interested in what's going on locally in the Columbia area, um, they can call me, Randy Fletcher, at 573-864-5976. That's your cell number, right? That's my cell phone number. And they can go online. Uh, there's uh, avpusa.org is is the national website to okay. find out what's going on across the nation all right randy thank you so much for coming by you bet. and continued success with what you're doing okay okay you. avp now we turn to nick foster and i know you were listening very carefully there you you were interested yeah. in this oh it's right? fascinating yeah. yeah nick foster voluntary action center and you're here uh to ask people 
to help out in adopting families for right. Christmas. Right, and I think the community is very well aware of what we do at Christmas. Well, there may be some new people. Oh, Ex absolutely. Explain, explain well, if, what it, it if, is. if you're new and you've not heard about it, it's an amazing experience. We'll serve close to 1,200 families this year. This is a Voluntary Action That's Center. That's right. Voluntary Action Center has done this for over 30 years now. So there'll be over 1,200 families that will benefit this. It'll touch almost 4,000 people. And we need, uh, what happens is those folks come into our office, they make an application to us to be part of the Christmas program, and then uh, we are able to serve most of those families. Uh, some, uh, we just are limited as to how many we can do. So then we ask uh, people in the community, clubs, churches, individuals, individual families to adopt those individual families, either uh, a large family of up to 10, as many as 10, or even an individual. Mm -hmm. uh, buy Christmas gifts for them and provide a little bit of money, a gift card perhaps for food for the Christmas meal. And then they bring it to us at Trinity Presbyterian Church in December. We distribute it to the families those same first two weeks in December. Yeah. And this is all done anonymously. Right, right. Uh, but what is nice is even though the family doesn't know who you are, you know who you are. And you know that you're helping someone who really needs a little bit of cheer mm -hmm. in the holidays. Maybe, maybe that's going to be the only gift that they get is from the family who adopted them through the Voluntary Action Oh, it's Center. very well possible. I mean, the folks who come to apply to us, they tell us why they need this help. And over and over, uh, I read those. They say, you know, if, if this doesn't happen, I won't be able to provide for my kids. So it, it's a really moving experience. And uh, the fun part for us who are there at the church and who accept those gifts is we get to watch the, the sponsors who come in, the excitement they have. Oh, it's a wonderful feeling. Oh, yeah. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a magical holiday feeling it as, is. You, as you come in. Right. And then uh, those of us who work get to watch the families come in and, and claim all yeah. of those things that have been given for them. And so we see both ends of it. But it is an anonymous program. Uh, but still, I, I know I watch people. They sort of imagine what it's going to be like for the family they're sponsoring. Mm -hmm. And I, I know that the families that are sponsored have in their minds the kind of folks who are, who are doing this for them. Yeah. It's uh, really so cool. If people want to help out, Voluntary Action Center, telephone number. Please call us, 874-2273, and we'll sign you up on the, right there okay. on the phone. So. If you want to help out, if you want to adopt a family for Christmas, just call the Voluntary Action Center and say, you know, I'm, I, I'll be happy to adopt a family of two, a family of three, uh, someone with a disability. Mm -hmm. you, you've got, you can, you can choose. You can adopt your family right, right. there and, on the phone. And senior adults as well, okay. older folks too. Thank you so much, Nick, yeah, for coming you, by. Paul. And Randy Fletcher, thank you for coming by. Uh, Monday, Mel Zelenek, Consumer and Travel Money Saving Tips for you. Our program directed by Travis McMillan of the Reynolds Journalism Institute audio is Trevor Harris, who is filling in for Kyle Fellings, who is filling in for Pat Akers today. Our floor director is Charlie Minshew and our assistant uh, producer and guest coordinator, Uncle James Mauser. Have yourself a good weekend. We'll see you Monday.